at the end of the war, they put this memorial up. A memorial of the officers and men of the first Australian tunnelling company who gave their lives in the mining and defensive operations of Hill 60, 1915 to 18. This monument replaces that originally erected in April 1919 by their comrades in arms. So in fact, it was the Australians from the British Empire who came and dug the tunnel here. But if you look carefully, you will also see that there are bullet holes in this memorial. There, and there, and there, and there. That's because in 1940, the Germans came back and some of the soldiers who were Nazis came here and they used this as target practice. The thing that made the biggest impression on me today would probably be Hill 60 because you're thinking these men have tunnelled all the way from our lines to the German lines through clay and then planted all that explosives and then blown the top completely off at Hill 60 and that's, you know, that's quite a big thing to swallow when you, you hear about it. This is 129 metres across, the same as the Pool of Peace, but it's not 29 metres deep. And what happened was this, when they dug the tunnel underneath, they blew it up and it went boom and it left a very deep and steep crater. But on the other side of the trees here, there is a railway line, an embankment. So when the explosion went up, boom, the earth came round this half of it to create the loop of the crater. But on that half, the earth just fell straight down into the embankment, you see. So you're standing in half of the crater that was left in 1917. But you can very clearly see the semicircular arch all the way around. These men are digging, you know, just like clay kicking all the way from our lines to their lines and never knowing if they're going to discover it and, you know, collapse the mine on top of them. If you um, went to the doctor at the beginning of the 20th century, he would have given you a prescription and you would have gone to the chemist and they would have put the pills in a small cardboard box that was round or rectangular. These were called pill boxes. And during the First World War, the British Army developed the idea of building a round or rectangular concrete box and inside they put a man or a couple of men with machine guns. In the 1840s, the earth over here was dug out to make the railway line which connects uh, Brussels to the hinterland up to the coastline. And all the earth from that was piled up here. So this is an artificial hill you're sitting on. 60 metres above sea level, so it's called Hill 60. And the Germans got here first. And they put in these rows of pillboxes and they put inside them men with machine guns. And if you tried to attack it face on, the bullets came out so fast, they could literally cut you in two, cut your legs off, cut your head off, disembowel you. They were very difficult to capture. One of the very few ways to try and capture this was to get the soldiers to crawl across no man's land with buckets of bombs, hand grenades, and get close enough to throw a hand grenade in. And when it blew up in this confined area, the bits of shrapnel would go 360 degrees, and of course they would blow the Germans to bits. But of course, they know that's going to happen. They've got the machine guns aimed at the ground to cut you into shreds. Some people did manage to do it, and they were killed. And for their bravery, they were awarded the Victoria Cross, the highest honour a soldier can get. But, of course, they were dead. So it was awarded what is called posthumously, after death. And the medal was sent to their families. The Germans stood there and they were on the very spot that we were standing on, shooting at the British, and thousands have died, and there's bodies and guns and remains of this war inches beneath your feet, buried in the ground. What is this, do you know? It's a pillbox, pill right. So what happened here? Because it's, yes, it got blown up, but how? A mine, that's it. If you couldn't get close enough because the machine guns shoot you, one of the few ways you could actually defeat a concrete pillbox was to dig underneath it and put a high charge of explosive and then go boom. And that's what happened here. This was a German pillbox and the British dug underneath and blew it up. And you're standing there for, on the rubble round about it. But it does mean, of course, that this is still a German grave. The bodies of the Germans are still under here. 
Now it's all overgrown just now, but in the winter time when all this dies back, you can still see the barbed wire and uh, all the, the broken bits of concrete round about. In fact, in the whole of Hill 60, we reckon there are about 5,000 British and German dead still in this, uh, this area alone. Because Hill 60 was fought over again and again because it was high ground. The Germans wanted it and they captured it and they fired into Ypres. The British dug underneath and blew them off and so on and so on. So for four years, this was one of the terrible places of battle. <laughs>